Good morning, everybody. At least it's morning here, so I'm talking to you guys. Alright, up to this point, we got a letter and an amulet from this Amon Motier guy to carry out some assassinations and stuff. I guess the amulet is to fund it. Alright, so our job is to come here and give that thing to Delve and Mallory, who we're already acquainted with, having joined the Thieves' Guild, and have him appraise it and give us some line of credit or something. And I guess this will help fund all the upcoming uh, killings that we're supposed to be doing, or whatever. Which is supposed to eventually lead to the Emperor himself. So, uh, sure, we, we don't think small here. This is uh, a plot of on a grand scale. Before we get around to that, I would like to unload some unwanted stolen stuff that I've been hiking around. don't think it's a lot of stuff, but it's uh, at least worth some money. Go ahead and take these merchants for everything I can get. Make up for all the money I spent on training and stuff. So, you're Brynjolf's new protege, eh? Don't look like much to me. Well, looks like you're fitting in well down here. I'm supposed to allow you to trade in one of your pieces of guild armor. So what will it be? Of course. Otherwise it wouldn't be much of a reward, now would it? Your new piece will enhance your skill beyond that of the original. Trust me. Tough luck for you, then. Come back when you have at least one of the pieces. Oh crap, I'm gonna have to go back in the cistern and go find a random piece of gear. Yeah, she's cut off as a fence until I do that. Great. Something you need? Oh. Oh, I see. Well, you'll make him friends all over. How dare you? Ain't ya? After all we've been So, uh, how is Astrid doing these days? Tell her to stop by sometime. We can have a drink. Catch up. That's all they are. Ah. But business, of course. What kind of business? Let's see. Where, oh, where did you get this? No, don't answer. I don't want to know. This is an amulet of the Emperor's Elder Council. Specially crafted for each member. Who have a small fortune. Ain't something you'd give up lightly. Look, it ain't my business to tell the Dark Brotherhood it's business. But if you killed a member of the Elder Council, you better believe. Buy it. This. An Elder Council amulet. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, wait. Just one moment. Here is a letter of credit. Usable by Astrid only. For any service or item I can provide. As per our standard arrangement. You bring that back to your lovely mistress. With my regards. So, you're Brynjolf's new protege. Eh? Right, I don't know how much a like letter much of credit is going to be worth, considering the Thieves' Guild is in a bad shape right now. But maybe Dalvin's got something on the side. Kind of question what uh, relation Astrid has to him, too. As far as the whole link between the Brotherhood and the Guild. I don't, know, we're I don't think we're talking about the Brotherhood of Old, right? Or the Guild of Old, either. Guild's fallen on hard times, and the Brotherhood is a shadow or a shell of what it was. It's basically basically just a band of cutthroats that this chick with a uh, authority insecurity complex put together. It's basically all it is, so... Yeah, I guess it's our job to shape, shape things up with both these organizations. So there's got to be a random piece of armor laying around somewhere. Can I do anything for you? Or more to the point, to you? Vipper, the fleet. The only man who's foolish enough to name himself after his bedroom prowess. Stupid <laughs> They're insulting one another. I think, guys, here would be uh, best warned to leave Sapphire alone. You're dealing with a sharp knife there. She's not really uh, welcoming advances, so to speak. You talk to her, she's got a backstory, and it's messed up. She has every right to have a chip on her shoulder. Can't blame her at all, so... Guys need to uh, beware. They might not wake up one morning. Still have quite a good bit of jobs available, if you're looking for some extra coin. Well, looks like you're fitting in well down. Of course. Your new piece yeah, 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 just take my piece of gear. Are you sure? Uh-huh. Once I exchange it... Yeah, uh-huh. Okay, there you there go. There we go. Alright, something I could sell right back to you. Yep. She said that the Welcome to the cozy little 
recognize Ray. I give special she rates to members of the Thieves Guild. Show show me what you've got. I remember on a playthrough I was actually using this armor for a while. I actually took some thought to figure out which piece I actually wanted to upgrade. I guess if you plan on sticking with the Thieves Guild armor for any period of time. But it apparently just raises the stats that are already on that piece of gear. You know, like, say you got 15% better sneak or whatever, then it makes it 25% or something. Anyway. But uh, I make my own stuff, so I'll just be selling all that as I get it. I do have a souvenir set, just in case we ever get a house that has mannequins in it, and I can put a set of armor on the mannequins. I like to put, like, a Dark Brotherhood set, maybe a Nightingale set, a Thieves Guild set. That kind of stuff. All right, let's see if I can get her for everything I can. All right, then. All right, let's get out of here. Go we'll take this back to Astrid and see what we're supposed to do next. I don't really remember. Played through these quest lines a few times. But, uh, I don't remember the exact order. It's been long enough since I played. Keep some of this kind of fresh, which is cool. I like stepping away from some of my favorite games and coming back later. Jump back into them, and a lot of it is just feels, you know? Remembering old times, good times you had playing, and then sometimes, uh, some things will just be new again, you know? That's one reason I always return to Fallout 3. Just, even if it's a year or two between playthroughs, I'll get back and I dive right in and I can just get lost. I'll just be gone for a while. Even if I'm doing something that I've done a thousand times before, it doesn't matter. I guess this is, this is similar to that. I need to get back into Oblivion too. If I just get some just free time just to go play and I don't know video-wise what we can do with that. Um... Maybe one day. At least do a build video on that. I talked about that before. And you'd think, well, there's not much to the leveling system. There. Actually, there is. Quite a bit to the leveling system in Good. Oblivion. You're back. It's very well hidden. Well, what did Mallory have to say? Is the amulet authentic? The Elder Council? Oh, now that explains quite a bit. Motier, you naughty, naughty boy. Hiring the Dark Brotherhood to help you rise beyond your station. Delicious. Was Mallory willing to buy the amulet? Splendid. Then we're ready to begin. Or, more specifically, you're ready to begin. After all, you're the one the Night Mother spoke to. Now then, I hope you have something nice to wear, because you're going to a wedding. Well, more like the public reception. It should be a lovely affair. You'll mingle with the guests, eat some cake, stab the bride. Oh, yes. You've got to kill the bride. At her wedding. And they say romance is dead. Very well. The target's name is Vittoria Vici. She oversees the East Empire Company's business holdings in solitude. The wedding is being held in that city, at the Temple of the Divines. Her death will cause an uproar, which is exactly what we want. Remember, we want people to notice. Kill Vici while she's addressing her guests, as is the custom, and I can promise a bonus. Now go. And give the bride a special kiss from me. Do this whole till death do us part thing, taking that to another level, <laughs> I guess. An excellent question. Vittoria Vici is the first cousin to our dear emperor, Titus Mead II. Vici has obvious imperial connections. Her husband has ties to the Stormcloaks. Their union is a step toward reconciliation. So if there's a murder at the wedding, not only will it stall the peace process, it will send shockwaves throughout the entire empire. The Emperor's hand will be forced. He'll have to travel to Skyrim to deal with the aftermath. 
and he'll find the Dark Brotherhood waiting. <clears throat> he had a trip to Skyrim planned for months, and cancelled at the last minute, much to his cousin's dismay. Seems the Emperor realized his presence would necessitate a more direct role in the ongoing hostilities, a role he was obviously unwilling to take. All that will change with his cousin's murder. Everyone will think it was motivated by the conflict between the Imperial Legion and Stormcloaks. And the Emperor will be forced to come clean up the mess. Off to solitude with you. Time to give the Emperor some real motivation to visit Skyrim. Alright. Well, we got our work orders now. We've stopped. What is it? Go on ahead. I'll stand guard. Alright, even though we're about to commit a public execution, we're going to actually do it in a sneaky manner. Get away with this without too much fanfare. Now, conveniently, looking over their little marriage perch or whatever is a uh, a spot where there's actually a bow and some uh, fletching suits. I don't know, some poison or a potion or something, and even some stray arrows just sitting there. So we're all set up. It's just a matter of uh. Carrying it out. What do you need? It would be interesting sitting here amongst the guests because you have the uh, the bride is a cousin to the emperor himself, right? And then the the groom is a mouthpiece for the stormcloaks. So it must be an interesting combination of guests here. As long as I stay out of the way. Everyone right. arms against them. Wasn't that yeah, here we go. Alright. So just a, a free bow just sitting there. I guess that counts as a uh, quest reward, in a sense. I don't know if this is here all the time. Maybe if you aren't even doing this mission, you might be able to come up here anyway. Although this little uh, this little section might be closed off if the wedding's not taking place. I'm not sure. I've never actually tried that to get up here uh, outside of doing this Dark Brotherhood mission. Nice. I don't have any actual poison poison. Apparently I either used them or got rid of them. Probably sold them thinking I wouldn't need them like an idiot. Alright, well. Note to self, anytime we get a potent poison, come in handy in situations like this. I wonder if that's a bard. An actual bard with a real voice. Alright, so what we have to do is we have to wait for them to go up to that balcony. And, uh... Yeah, I guess they're going to take their time with that. Alright, well, let's go ahead and hurry them along if we can. Come on. Go ahead and get up, you guys. Right, let's try that again. There we go. All right, so we're supposed to kill her as she's addressing her guests for our reward. I remember the Dark Brotherhood quests in Oblivion were like this. There would be whatever the contract was, but then there would be a special circumstance where if you meet it, you would get not some special thing. It was just like an amulet or, you know, a, a, a weapon or, or something, a ring, you know, that, that type of stuff. Good people of solitude. Are you all enjoying yourselves? Please, eat, drink, and make merry on the And the invisible wall that's not there, but is there. Let's Today, try that again. Boom! Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, sorry, did I interrupt? Alright, so let's get invisible and let's get out of here. Alright, there's our lizard buddy. And a guard materialized out of nowhere. Really? Okay. Go ahead and 
try that again. Okay, so our lizard buddies should keep them busy behind us, and uh, we just need to get out of here. I imagine once, yeah, once the music goes away and our eye closes, we're probably good. I think I went the absolute wrong direction. Doesn't really matter if I can fast travel out of here. It's 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 all good. I remember several times in Oblivion where you do something out in the open and you had to get away. You might have to literally run or swim like a mile um, just to get out of, you know, the combat mode or whatever so you could, you know, fast travel or, or move around a little bit. Yeah, we're going straight back up to the castle. It's probably not where I want to be, but it's... Uh... You get far enough away to where you can use the map. You might be good. Alright, well, that went well, you think? I didn't bring Uthgird along. She'd have just gotten in the way. She'd have stayed back to fight Join? and probably got herself killed. Lead the way. Let's go give the, uh, what would you call it, good news? I don't know. <laughs> the news is everywhere. Vittoria Vici, the Emperor's cousin, butchered at her own wedding. Well done. Let's... With Vici's murder, you've started us down a path the Dark Brotherhood hasn't traveled in centuries. The assassination of an emperor. And now your reward. A unique spell to summon a legend of the Dark Brotherhood. His soul serves us now in death, as his body once did in life. Ah, and of course, a bonus for killing Vici while she addressed her guests as instructed. Gold. Simple and pure. Spend it as you will. Now then, time to proceed to the next stage of the plan. Go and speak with Gabriella. She's been helping me arrange your next contract. Alright, so we got a free summon spell for the uh, the specter of what, Lucian Lachance? He was essentially what, the listener in Oblivion. Until you basically like replace him. But uh, yeah, he was true to it. Like Cicero. I hate to compare Cicero to Lachance, but the same type of character. They're true to it. If nothing else, they're loyal to the Brotherhood and to the whole, you know, Sithis Night Mother thing. Loyal to death and after, apparently. Dear sister, I've been waiting for you. Your next contract awaits, as I'm sure Astrid indicated. With the Emperor's arrival in Skyrim now a certainty, his security service, the Penitus Oculatus, will need to begin its preparations immediately. Security is being handled by a Commander Morrow. Astrid and I have devised a plan to break the man, and in doing so, cripple the Emperor's protection. You are to slay the Commander's son, Gaius Morrow, and once he is dead, plant false evidence on his body, implicating him in a plot to kill the Emperor. He is set to leave the Penitus Oculatus outpost at Dragonbridge and inspect the security of each city in Skyrim. Go there now. Observe Gaius Morrow's departure and follow him. Waylay him in one of the cities and send his soul to Sithis. Once he's dead, plant the incriminating letter on his body and let fate take care of the rest. Oh, and one final thing. To earn your bonus, do not kill Gaius Morrow in Dragonbridge, or on the road. Kill him in one of the other major cities he'll be visiting. There, the body will be discovered quickly, as will the letter implicating Gaius Morrow in the plot to assassinate the Emperor. Do that, and Astrid has authorized me to grant you a rather unique bonus. It is a special token to be given to Olava the Feeble in Whiterun. Olava is an old and dear friend, and a powerful seer. 
The token entitles you to a reading of your future. It's an opportunity one should not pass up. No, so your best plan is to follow him after he leaves Dragonbridge. However, there is one other option. We know there's an actual written travel schedule, somewhere in the Penitus Arculatus outpost. Securing that would, obviously, be most beneficial. Killing Commander Morrow would do no good. Someone would merely replace him. No, we need him to remain in charge, but distracted, weakened. Implicate and kill his son Gaius, and the commander will be grief-stricken and humiliated, his family name ruined. The security plan will then fail. Best yet, the Emperor will be lulled into a false sense of security, thinking an assassination plot had already been discovered and foiled. Walk in Gaius Morrow's shadow, and deliver to him the judgment of Sithis. Alright, well it's not just going to rile up this captain, I'm sure it's going to piss him off greatly. Right. Besides the grief, yeah, he's, he's, he's not going to take too kindly to that. But you know what? They shouldn't be in Skyrim in the first place. Well, maybe at, at, at one point, way back when, but now, they need to get their ass up out of here. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, they knew what they signed up for, and well, now they got to pay for that. not saying killing the guy or his son is the right thing, but, uh, well, you know, war is war. And we get this. Okay, this is where I thought I was going to freeze, and I didn't. Thankfully, I didn't. Hopefully that doesn't start to become an issue. With the whole frame rate drop thing, that, that might start rearing its ugly head every so often. Especially out in the Reach. Um, out there by Markarth and stuff. Which some of the later game stuff takes place in there. And uh, we might have a problem or two. But uh, other than that, I think we'll be alright. Alright, so thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe, click that button up top. Sorry, this is a little bit shorter one. Kind of hard to break these up. But uh, we'll get a longer one coming up next. Alright, if you want to catch the rest of this Let's Play, click that image in the middle, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.